Hi, I'm Xavier, active duty medic. We're gonna be learning about the tourniquet conversion process. When you encounter a casualty that is bleeding from a limb that has been controlled by a tourniquet, and you assess the wound to be amenable to a hemostatic or pressure dressing, as well as expecting an extended evacuation period, a tourniquet conversion should be completed. Limb tourniquets and junctional tourniquets should be converted to hemostatic or pressure dressings as soon as possible if three criteria are met. The casualty is not in shock, it is possible to monitor the wound closely for bleeding, and the tourniquet is not being used to control bleeding from an amputated extremity. Every effort should be made to convert tourniquets in less than two hours if bleeding can be controlled with other means. Do not remove a tourniquet that has been in place more than six hours unless close monitoring and lab capability are available. Consider body substance isolation. Next, expose the wound. If not previously exposed, remove clothing and equipment as required. Remove the gauze or hemostatic dressing from its sterile package. If the sterile gauze or dressing is not available, use a clean, dry cloth material. Now, pack the dressing tightly into the wound. Fill and pack the whole wound cavity tightly while keeping firm pressure on the wound. Keep in mind that more than one gauze may be required. You want to ensure the gauze extends one to two inches above the skin. If the gauze does not extend one to two inches above the skin, use additional gauze. If a penetrating object is lodged in the casualty's body, bandage it in place. Do not remove the object. Next, remove the pressure bandage from the pouch and packaging. Place the pad or bandage directly on the wound or any dressing previously applied, continuing to apply direct pressure. If the bandage has a pressure bar, insert the elastic wrap completely into the pressure bar. Pull the bandage tight and reverse it back over the top of the pressure bar, forcing it down onto the pad. Then, wrap the pressure or elastic bandage tightly around the extremity, focusing pressure over the wound and ensuring that the edges of the pad are covered. Secure the hooking ends of the strap or closure bar onto the last wrap of the bandage. Slowly release the tourniquet over a minute while observing the bandage for bleeding. Convert tourniquets in less than two hours if possible, but do not remove a tourniquet that has been in place for more than six hours unless close monitoring and lab capability are available. No bleeding. If bleeding reoccurs, reapply the tourniquet, no ensuring bleeding. bleeding is controlled and the distal pulse is absent. All right, man, you're looking good. Your leg's not bleeding anymore. Oh, Lastly, document all findings on a DD Form 1380 TCCC casualty card and attach it to the casualty.